build a CI CD pipeline using Jenkins. You will commit the sample lab code to a GitHub repository, modify the code locally, and then commit your changes. You will then install a Docker container that includes the latest version of Jenkins. You will configure Jenkins and then use Jenkins to download and run your sample app program. Next, you will create a testing job inside Jenkins that will verify your sample app program successful runs each time you build it. Finally, you will integrate your sample app and testing job into a continuous integration, continuous development pipeline that will verify your sample app is ready to be deployed each time you change the code. Require resources, one PC with operating system of your choice, VirtualBox or VMware, DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Launch the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Go to Oracle VM VirtualBox. Okay, this is the virtual machine and start. Okay. Commit the sample app to Git. You will create a GitHub repository to commit the sample app files you created in a previous lab. You created a GitHub account in a previous lab. If you have not done so yet, visit github.com now and create an account. Log into a GitHub and create a new repository. Okay, go to github.com. On the virtual machine, go to Chromium browser. You go to GitHub. GitHub.com. Sign in. Username. Password. Okay. New repository on plus icon here. New repository. Use this name uh, sample dash app. Description Explore CI CD with GitHub and Jenkins. Private. Sample dash app description explore CI CD with GitHub and Jenkins. Okay, uh, private. Then create repository. Ready. Configure your Git credentials locally in the virtual machine. Open a terminal window with Visual Studio Code in DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Use your name in place of sample user for the name in quotes. 
and use example.com for your email address. Okay, and minimize the Chromium browser and go to Visual Studio Code, VS Code. And here on terminal, new terminal. Now you can see this this prompt. Git config global username. git config global user name mm, your name and git config global user email and use uh, example.com Okay, enter. Okay, and repeat and modify uh, the name. Just email and remove this and use the same for example.com. Okay, be careful. Same for example.com. Enter. Initialize a directory is the git repository. You will use the sample lab files you created in a previous lab. However, those files are also stored for your convenience in the labs dominant source Jenkins sample app directory. Navigate to the Jenkins sample app directory and initialize as a git repository. Okay, go to the directory and initialize git. Okay, so ls to verify and go to labs ls See that DevNet source LS CD mm, Jenkins Jenkins LS. Mm, this is the directory CD sample dash app. Okay, LS. And you have these files and directories. Very good. Labs Dependent Source Yanking Sample App and Git in it. Initialize it as a Git repository. Git in it, enter. Initialize it. Very nice. Point git repository to github repository. Use the git remote add command to add a git URL with the remote alias of origin and point to the newly created repository on github. Using the URL of the git repository you created in step 1, you should only need to replace the github username in the following command with your github username. Okay, use uh, remember GitHub username is case sensitive. 
Okay, use git remote add origin. Origin is the remote alias. The GitHub username. You need to use your own username and the name of the repository. Git remote at origin. Go to Chromium browser. Copy this. Okay. Paste. Okay, and enter. Very good. Stage commit and push the sample app files to the GitHub repository. Use the git add command to stage the files in the Jenkins sample app directory. Use the asterisk argument to stage all files in the current directory. Okay, git add all files. Git add all files center. Very good. Use the git status command to see files and directories that are staged and ready to be committed to the GitHub repository. Use git status. Git status. Okay, no commits yet. The files and directories. Remember these files and directories and add all files and all content. This use git commit command to commit the staged files and start tracking changes. Add a message of your choice or use the one provided here. Git commit and add a message with option M committing sample app files. Git commit option M committing sample app files okay and enter four files change it these four files sample app that sh sample app py style css and index html Use git push command to push your local sample app files to your GitHub repository. Git push origin master. Git push origin master. Okay, remember origin is the alias. Enter. Username. your github username this uh, username this username and the and the password Support for password authentication was removed on 2021. 
please use a personal access token instead. Okay, don't worry. In a previous lab, you created the token. Settings. Go to developer settings, personal access tokens. Tokens you have generated that can be used to access the GitHub API. Okay. In my case, this token has no expiration date. If you don't have a token, generate a new token but i have one here click here this token has no expiration date okay no expiration regenerate token okay is this copy And repeat uh, git push origin master username of github and paste the token enter very good if instead of a request for your username, you get a message from VS Code. You misconfigured either your GitHub credentials in step 2 and or the GitHub URL in step 4. The URL must have the correct case sensitive username and the name of the repository that you created in step 1. To reverse your previous git add command, use the command git remote rm origin. Then return to step 2 making sure to enter the correct credentials and in step 4 entering the correct URL. If after entering your username and password you get a fatal error stating repository is not found, you most likely submitted an incorrect URL. You will need to reverse your git add command with the git remote rm origin command. Modify the sample app and push changes to git. You will instant Jenkins docker image that will use port 8080. Recall that your sample app files are also specifying port 8080. The Flask server and Jenkins server cannot both use 8080 at the same time. You will change the port number used by the sample app files. Run the sample app again to verify it works on the new port. And then push your changes to your GitHub repository. Open sample app files. Make sure you are, you are still in the lab devnet Jenkins sample app directory. Okay, labs devnet source Jenkins sample app. These are the files that are associated with your GitHub repository. Open both sample app py and sample app sh for editing. Edit the sample app files. In the sample app py, change the one instance of port 8080 to 5050. Okay, here. Okay, file, open, open file. Okay. 
go to DevNet Source, Jenkins, Simple App, Simple App PY. And modify this port 8080 to 5050. And save. In Simple Lab, as I change the three instances of port 8080 to 5050. Okay, one, two, and three. Open. Simple app SH is the script. Change this fifty fifty. This another fifty fifty column fifty fifty. Save. Build and verify the sample app. Enter the bash command to build your app using the new port 5050. Okay, run the script using bash. Okay, bash and sample app. The extension sh, this is the script, enter. Okay, very good. And review. From run copy. Expose fifty fifty CMD and the PSA, very good. Open a browser and verify on localhost 5050. Go to Chromium, a new tab. Localhost column 5050, the new port. You are calling me from 172.17.01. Okay. Shut down the server. Control C. Go to BS Code. And okay. In this case, do the following uh, Docker stop and use this name the name of the the name of the process docker stop sample running okay very good Push your changes to GitHub. Now you are ready to push your changes. Git add all files in this directory and verify. Then git commit with a message change it from port 8080 to 5050. Okay, git add, git status, modify a file, modify a file, a new file created, 
another new file, new file, and new file. And git commit with use another another message. Change it port from ABAD to 5050. Enter. Very nice. Six files change it. And git push origin master. Remember push to GitHub. Git git push origin master. Username password. This And, enumerating objects nine down. You can verify that your GitHub repository is updated by visiting your repository. You should see your new message changed from port 88 to 5050 and that the latest commit timestamp has been updated. Okay, go to Chromium and review your repository. Okay, I will use uh, another tab on GitHub. Um, this repository sample app. Now you can see all the files and directories, the timestamp. And this is the message changed from port 8080, committing sample app files. Very nice. Download and run the Jenkins Docker image. You will download the Jenkins Docker image. You will then start an instance of the image and then verify the Jenkins server is running. Download the Jenkins Docker image. The Jenkins Docker image is stored here. Hubdocker.com are Jenkins Jenkins. At the time of the writing of this lab, that site specifies that you use the Docker part Jenkins Jenkins command to download the latest Jenkins container. You should get output similar to the following. Okay, so use docker command port Jenkins Jenkins LTS. Visual Studio Docker port Jenkins Jenkins. LTS, column LTS. Now it's downloading the files for Jenkins. Okay, very good. Download that newer image for Yankees. Start the Yankees Docker container. Enter the following command on only one line. You may need to copy it to a text editor if you are viewing a PDF version of this lab to avoid line breaks. 
This command will start the Jenkins Docker container and then allow Docker commands to be executed inside your Jenkins server. The options used in this docker run command are as follows dash dash rm this option this option automatically removes the docker container when you stop running it okay this option you this option specifies the user you want this docker container to run as root so that all docker commands entered inside the Jenkins server are allowed Okay. okay, the user is root. P, this option specifies the port the Jenkins server will run on locally. Okay, so the port will be 8080. And 8080 for the host. B, this option binds mount volumes needed for the Jenkins and Docker. The first B specifies where Jenkins data will be stored. The second B specifies where the get Docker so that you can run Docker inside the Docker container that is running the Jenkins server. The third B specifies the path variable for the home directory. Okay, this is the first B where the Jenkins data will be stored. Okay, this B is for Docker and Jenkins. And the third B, the path for the home directory. Okay, this is dash, not underscore is dash. Yankees dash data column bar Yankees underscore home. Okay, be careful is which uh, is which be careful Okay, uh, dash dash name Jenkins underscore server and is this server. Okay, enter. Very good. Verify the Yankee server is running. The Yankee server should now be running. Copy the admin password that displays the output. 
is shown in the following okay this this password obviously your password will be different do not enter any commands in this server window if you accidentally stop the Jenkins server you will need to enter the docker run command from step 2 above this after the initial install the admin password is displayed as shown below okay this Yankins is fully running Jenkins is fully and up and running completed installation please use the following password to proceed the installation copy this to a notepad okay, go to home home directory labs the red source Jenkins, Jenkins, and, and Jenkins, uh, you can place here the an empty file pass that txt or use. Uh, Jenkins server pass enter enter paste okay and save if you lose the password or it is not display shown above or you need to restart the Jenkins server, you can always retrieve the password by accessing the command line of Jenkins Docker container. Create a second terminal window in VS Code and enter the following commands so that you do not stop the Jenkins server. Okay, and on another terminal in VS Code, uh, second terminal on VS Code, Use this password docker exec it jenkins server bin bash and show the password using cat. And this is the password with on another terminal. Obviously, your password will be different and your ID will be different. Investigate the levels of abstraction currently running on your computer. The following ASCII diagram shows the level of obstruction in this Docker inside Docker D in D implementation. This level of complexity is not unusual in today's networks and cloud infrastructures. Okay, now you have your computer, maybe on Windows, the DevNet associate virtual machine running on Linux, a Docker container inside, a Jenkins server inside, and finally another Docker container inside Jenkins. Configure Jenkins. You will complete the initial configuration of the Jenkins server. Open a web browser, localhost 8080. We go to Chromium, go to localhost 8080. 8080 is Jenkins. Remember, localhost 8080 is Jenkins. Enter. Administrator password is this. Continue.
Install the recommended Jenkins plugins. Install suggested plugins. In the terminal window, you will see log messages as the installation proceeds. Be sure that you do not close this terminal window. You can open another terminal window for access to the command line. Okay, install suggested plugins. And this may take a while. Okay, very interesting and go to Visual Studio Code and now you can see some log messages some log messages of, of this process okay and please do not close this terminal if you want open a new terminal okay Skip creating a new admin user. After the installation finishes, you are presented with the create first admin user. Skip and continue as admin. Skip and continue as admin. Remember, this is the site for Jenkins. Let's keep creating an instance. Instance configuration window. Do not change anything. Save and finish. Okay. Do not modify this. Save and finish. Start using Jenkins. Start using Jenkins. Welcome to Jenkins. And this is the dashboard. Use Jenkins to run and build your app. The fundamental unit of Jenkins is the job, also known as the project. You can create jobs that do a variety of tasks, including the following. Red trip code from source code management repository such as GitHub. Build an application using a script or build tool. Package an application and run it on a server. You will create a simple Jenkins job that retrieves the latest version of your sample app from GitHub and runs the build script. In Jenkins, you can test your app and add it to a development pipeline now create a new job create a job and directly below welcome to jenkins message you can click you can click new item enter an item name build up job Okay, a new item.
build a job case sensitive build a job click free style project in the description the SCM abbreviation stands for software configuration management which is a classification of software that is responsible for tracking and controlling changes in software scroll the bottom and okay Okay, select free style. Now it's selected. Okay. Okay, very good. Configure the Yangings build up job. You are now in the configuration window where you can enter details about your job. General tab, add a description. My first Jenkins job. My first Jenkins job. For example, source code management and choose git in the repository url field add your github repository link for the sample app taking care to enter your case sensitive username be sure to add the git extension at the end of your url okay uh, remember scm is source code management source code management git and go to your repository copy link address in my case is this github.com your username should be different and the repository sample dash app please enter git repository so remember that git fail it to connect to repository and Support for password authentication was removed. For credentials, add and choose Jenkins. Hit uh, add Jenkins. Add credentials github username and password okay global username with password scope global username your github username and the password is here on uh, the token of github add You will receive an error message that the connection has failed. This is because you have not selected the credentials yet. 
Okay, this is the error in the drop down for the credentials. Choose the credentials you just configured. The error disappears. After you have added the correct URL and credentials, Jenkins test access to the repository. You should have no error messages. If you do, verify your URL and credentials. You will need to add them again, as there is no way at this point to delete the ones you previously entered. At the top of the Build App Job configuration window, click Build Tab. Okay, Build. Execute Shell. Execute Shell. Enter the command you use to run the build for sample app that sh script. Okay, bash sample app that sh bash sample dash app that sh. Save. Save. Very good. Have Jenkins build the app. On the left side, click Build Now to start the app. Jenkins will download your Git repository and execute the build command bash sample app. Your build should succeed because you have not changed anything in the code since part 3 when you modified the code. Okay. Build now. Now you can see um, success, success, access the build details, build history, number one, okay, build history and click here on number one. Okay, build number one, date and time, the repository, the revision code, view the console output, console output, Click here on console output. And now you can see this um, Git process, curate directories from run, copy files, expose. PSA, PSA output, notice the success messages at the bottom as well as the output from the docker PSA command. 
two Docker containers are running, one for your sample app running on local port 5050 and one for the Jenkins on local port 8080. Okay, now you can see the ports 8080 for Jenkins and and 50-50 for Docker. Successful build, digit, success, success, successful build. Open another web browser and verify. On, verify on port 5050. New tab local host 5050 enter this side can't be reached okay this is why on um, visual studio code i used it previously this command I used it previously docker stop sample running. So that's why Chromium so that, so that's why it's not working. So you can use this you, you can copy this command on another terminal because this terminal is uh, running Jenkins. So open another terminal new terminal paste and use start to restart the app okay and go to the browser and reload you are calling me from 172.17.01 okay uh, you should see the content of your index HTML displayed in light steel blue background color. You are calling me from 172.17.01 displayed in H1. Now use Jenkins to test a build. You will create a second job that tests the build to ensure that it's working properly. You need to stop and remove the sample running Docker container. Okay, use the docker commands to stop and remove. Okay, on this new window, remember on this uh, on the on the right, you can choose your your terminals. This is uh, this is running Jenkins. Do not close this and go to the another. Okay, this is uh, a stop sample running. Wait a moment. And remove. Very nice. Start a new job for testing your sample app. Return to Jenkins web browser and go to main dashboard new item test app job freestyle project okay okay go to chromium go to jenkins click here on jenkins uh, logo new item the name should be test up job okay it's sensitive free style and okay okay
configure the Jenkins test app job. Add a description, my first Jenkins test and source code management non my first Jenkins test source code management non build triggers build after other projects are built for projects to watch build app job okay go to go to build triggers build after other projects are built projects to watch remember the name of the previous job build app job remember that name of the previous job write the test script that should run after a stable build of the build up job build up add build step execute shell go to build up choose uh, execute shell enter the following script this script the if command should be all in one line including the semicolon then this command will grab the output return it from the curl command to see if you are calling me from 172.17.01 is retarded if true the script exits with a code of zero which means that there are no errors in build up job if false, the script exits with a code of 1, which means the build up job failed. Okay, the script is if C U R L H T T P column slash slash. Okay, this IP. One seventy two seventy zero one on the port, the Docker port, the pipe and grab this message. Semicolon and then Enter. Exit zero, else exit one, final. Exit zero, else exit one, and final. But don't forget the alignment, press tap, tap. Okay, very good. Save and back dashboard. Hit save. Go to dashboard, go to Jenkins. Now you have two jobs build up job and test up job. Have Jenkins run the build up job job again. Refresh the web page. You should now see your two jobs. For build up job, click the build button on the far right. Okay, refresh, reload. On build up job, 
click here build look at here the process verify both jobs completed if all goes well you should see the timestamp for the last success column update for both build up job and test up job this means your code for both jobs run without error but you can also provide this for yourself if timestamps do not update make sure enable auto refresh Okay, refresh this, reload. Okay, reload, and now you will see success for build up job and success for test up job. And you know, test up job will run automatically after build up job. Click build up job on permalinks last build last build and console output console output success. Okay, and go to Jenkins, click on test up job, the last build, console output. Okay, now you can see the, the grab, exit zero, success. Exit zero means no errors success see url docker it is not necessary to verify your sample app is running because the test app job already did this for you however you can open a browser tab for 172 1701 to see that is indeed running Okay, so you can copy this, copy link address, open a new tab, and paste http column slash slash 172 1701 column 5050. Very good. Create a pipeline in Jenkins. Also, you can currently run your two jobs by simply clicking the Build Now button for the Build Up Job. Software development projects are typically much more complex. These projects can benefit greatly from automating builds for continuous integration of code changes and continuously creating development builds that are ready to deploy. This is the essence of CI CD. A pipeline can be automated to run based on a variety of triggers, including periodically based on a GitHub poll for changes, or from a script run remotely. However, in this part, you will script a pipeline in Jenkins to run your two apps whenever you click the pipeline build now button. Create a pipeline job, Jenkins, new item, sample. Pipeline and pipeline, okay. Jenkins, new item, sample, pipeline, okay, sensitive, and choose pipeline, okay. Configure the sample pipeline job click the tabs and investigate each section of the configuration notice that 
there are a number of different ways to trigger and build. For the sample pipeline job, you will trigger it manually. Okay, in the pipeline section, add the following script. This script. Okay, for example, go to triggers, build after other projects, build peri periodically, poll SCM and others, and pipeline pipeline a script okay now stage preparation catch error case sensitive build Result case sensitive column success space in the shell the following command docker stop sample running on the shell docker remove sample running enter stage build space enter build The name of the first job, build app job case sensitive, and copy this, enter, paste, stage test. Build up job. The name of the second job. But this should be results. Okay, very good. Is this this script? The script does the following. It creates a single node build as opposed to a distributed or multi node. Okay, a single node. Distributed or multi node configurations are the are for larger pipelines that the one you are building in this lab and are beyond the scope of this course. In preparation stage, the sample pipeline will first make sure that any previous instances of the build app job docker container are stopped and removed okay first the stop and remove any other instance but if there is not yet a running container you will get an error therefore you use the catch error function to catch any errors and return success value this will ensure that pipeline continues on the next stage okay catch error okay. uh, the build stage the sample pipeline will build your build up job and result stage the sample pipeline will build your test up job build up job and build test up job and run okay on the left build now
to run the simple pipeline job. Okay, save. Go to Jenkins. And sample pipeline on the right build build okay and uh, wait a moment here is the process down here is the process now sample pipeline will run the build up job and test up job okay very good if you coded your pipeline script without error then the stage view should show three green boxes with number of seconds each stage took to build if not, click configure on the left to return to sample pipeline configuration and check your pipeline script. Verify the sample pipeline permanent links console output. Okay, refresh, reload. Okay, sample pipeline 30 seconds and uh, and click on Saint Paul pipeline and last build and console output okay and Stop Docker, remove Docker and build up job. Test up job. So you can go the detail of up job. Last build. Console output. Okay, very good. Success. Uh, go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. On this output, test up job. Last build. Console output. Okay, very good. Thank you very much.